There is no weapon in Warrior's arsenal that encapsulates its overall state as well as Hammer does. We get grand total of 3 crowd control skills and 2 damaging ones, which doesn't mean anything really bad in PvE as their CC is allowed to do damage and AI getting stun locked into Kingdom Come isn't going to result with outbursts of posts on Reddit. In competitive modes, however, this leads to plethora of issues, starting with abysmally low base damage in a combo, power fluctuating wildly from matchup to matchup, and causing frustration on both the side of the wielder and the opponent. Let's start from the beginning and explain low damage. First Blow deals pathetic damage on its own, but hits almost twice as hard against controlled enemies. If we include Merciless Hammer into the equation, we exceed double the damage. As you can probably guess, this thing needs CC the target to do meaningful damage. In fact, its non-empowered damage is barely outpacing third hit in Greatsword and Hammer auto chains, while simultaneously not benefiting from its own bloody trait. This was a bane of Hammer's existence in PvE for years before they made Defiant Foes count for its empowered state, and it still is a bane of Hammer's existence in PvP and World v World. It is not a secret that players would rather avoid getting CC'd, and in the game like Guild Wars 2, where CC countermeasures are potent and plenty, you can probably guess where Hammer loses its potential. But let's not get over ourselves too hastily. Hammer Shock is only hammer skill that doesn't jeopardize your damage output. With decent range and cone AoE, it is pretty consistent, and what's kind of depressing if you think about it, it is best AoE strike damage skill in Warrior's base arsenal. Why is that depressing? Because Hammer's signature trait still needs all targets to be controlled to apply its 20% damage increase. And you can probably guess why weapon that struggles to fulfill this requirement for a single target damage source will have a problem with tapping into potential of a large AoE. Shame. This could be a good skill even in World v World blob fights to do ignoring projectile denial like most AoE, but... well. Anyhow, fourth skill, Staggering Blow, is second most reliable hammer skill after Hammer Shock. It has the same half a second cast time and hits in a small AoE around you, knocking people around. Its knockback is more symbolical than actual displacement, but thanks to that we can combo Fierce Blow from Staggering Blow consistently, which is by the way the most consistent way of landing Fierce Blow. Overall, knockback into damage is the fairest implementation of CC feeding into damage mechanic, as that version at least asks you to take account for displacement, which is significantly harder than what's essentially shooting a wrench in a goulash, and ironically it is both easiest to land from warrior's perspective and least frustrating on the opponent's department. Enemy's target isn't forced to ban stun break just because Warrior had audacity to deal damage and Warrior isn't asked to land a skill with wind up longer than travel via Moscow Vladivostok Railway just to deal some bloody damage. Speaking of which, Backbreaker has a whole second long casting animation, which probably is the most telegraphed wind up in history, rivaling the glorious <laughs> anime power. You could type in chat, I'm about to hit you with a hammer, and it wouldn't announce your intent any more clearly than Backbreaker's animation does. Oh, and behold, it causes issues. Landing a skill that has this long of a wind up and this short of a range requires either astronomical luck, bloody Jedi foresight, or a cataclysmic fuck-up on your opponent's department. The whole justification behind this skill being unusable is its potentially 4 second long CC, which is a lie. Let's be completely honest, in game where stun breaks exist, you'll get a second and a half at best, and none at all at worst, because stability exists as well, and either Blindness or Aegis nullify this skill completely, because of course they do. 
To land this skill, you'll need to work outside the box more than Schrodinger's cat proving his survival, and even if you manage to land it, your only reward is seeing if you manage to cast Fierce Blow before your target presses a stun break. And if it wasn't bad enough already, it only hits one target. So you can't even keep down a ranger and his pet, let alone two players. Therefore, usefulness of backbreaker boils down to extending other possible to land CC and resetting a cooldown of a skill with a 6 second long cooldown or less. Moving on. Earthshaker is good on paper, being one of few skills allowed to both control and do damage while also being a gap closer and on a relatively short cooldown. However, even it does have severe downside. It is only gap closer in hammer skill set while requiring adrenaline to cast. To gain adrenaline, you need to hit your opponent. To hit your opponent, you need to get into melee. To get into melee, you need a gap closer. And to use your gap closer, you need adrenaline. Which creates a paradox, as to get into melee, you need to already be in melee. Further than this, Earthshaker also suffers from having very telegraphed animation, basically asking to get dodged, blocked or nullified with stability. In summary, Hammer doesn't have any defensive utility, any resourceless mobility, any way around block or blindness, nor any pressure, nor cleave, as downed foes can't be counted as crowd controlled, so we don't do damage to them either. We need to outsource all of that, which is a massive investment, and which isn't even guaranteeing we'll land a damage at all, because hammer skills are so bloody slow that a necro standing in a pulsing blindness field is for us virtually untouchable. It hurts to say this, but main thing Hammer needs to function is to be used against people that are new to the game, as anyone with first or even second hand experience is going to put some stability in his build. And you can probably guess by now that build which desperately needs to control his foes ceases to function when faced with proper amount of defensive utility. Of course, you can play Berserker and that makes Hammer less of a liability but being usable on Berserker isn't fixing any of the hammer's internal issues. Backbreaker still needs your foe to play with his monitor off to land, Earthshaker still needs you to get into melee without using it, while also being nigh impossible to land, Fierce Blow needs these two to land consistently, and on top of that, Hammer has no defensive skills, so if your opponent is allowed to play the game, you just die. And to add insult to injury, Hammer's signature traits force you to forego best defensive traits in defense while also doing completely nothing if your target has his defenses sorted out. For the love of Hydrated One, Mace at least gave you a block with a decent synergy. How does a weapon fare worse than Mace's? Yes. Yes, you can one-shot people who forgot to pack stun breaks, but that's the bloody problem. Hammer only works against people who either don't know what Hammer does or what their class does. The Grogin weapon puts so much strain on factors outside of your control, like your opponent's class build and performance, that the outcome of the fight is more impacted by utilities your opponent runs and him making or not making mistakes than by you trying your hardest to kill the bloody bastard. Because all it takes for, for example, Willbender, his shield of wrath to shut you down completely for the entire time he needs to ship your ass back to spawn. And if you don't believe Hammer is bad, go with it towards the world, engage 1v1 with first thief you can find and come back, tell me how it went. Hammer doesn't work against people with a slew of game experience, while also making experience of people new to the game significantly worse. Current version of Hammer and its signature traits just combine into one massive crutch that is both unhealthy for the game and warrior as a class. The situation is so bad that literally removing Warrior's Hammer would be a positive change for the game. Every day Hammer remains unreworked, Guild Wars 2 suffers from it. 
And if it helps you to hear these words, know that it helps me even more to say them. Now, I happen to have not particularly obliging habit to call for a rework and not propose a solution. But I have courage to not fail, so I hope you forgive me keeping you waiting for another week. The moron will fulfill its promises eventually. With all that said, crap face out.